Hey loves, it's your girl April and today's video is all about some fabulous hair that I have here in these cute little pink satchels. First of all, this hair I am excited about, I am like super excited about. I've been waiting for this review for like a month and a half, especially because they have like a huge variety of color options for any texture hair on their website. So I was like amazed at what I was seeing and I was super excited. So you girls already know Yaki Stray, Kinky Stray is like the big trend now when it comes to hair bundles or making a weave, a wig, or what have you, just an install, whatever. Yeah, um, Kinky Straight is like a really popular kind of hair texture right now. What I have here is from Nubian Bar Beauty Supply, and this is their Kinky Straight hair. But the one thing about this, I have a Kinky Straight wig already, which is like a natural color, and I'm about to make a couple more. But this one here is totally different. This is off the chain, y'all. So when I said there are a lot of different color options in any texture hair, that's what I'm talking about. Do y'all see this color hair? Yes, okay. I was super excited about doing this review because for one, I love the color of this hair. This is like a sandy color brown. Your hair comes in the pink satchel bags. They may change the color, I'm not really sure from time to time, but you will have your hair in a satchel bag. They do have the tags on them, which tells you where the hair is from, the length, the origin, and the color. So the one that I have here is a tint color number 10, and she is kinky straight, okay? So I have three bundles of hair. Um, they are three bundles and with kinky straight you don't need a lot of hair because it's already full So you really don't need a lot. So I have three a two twenty twos a 20 inch and a 16 inch matching closure And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with the hair. So as you can see there are no dark roots It's just one solid color. The hair is really soft and it just mimics Yaki straight hair african-american relaxed hair what have you and I just thought this color was so different and so pretty and without me having to color treat it or get it in a certain color that I was trying to and ruining it I decided to go with the color number 10 so as for the actual wefting it's very neat um, this is a double wefted track and this is the 20 inch um, bundle the bearding, like I said, is really, really nice and neat. And I did, like I said, get three bundles, two 22s and a 20 inch and the 16 inch closure that I have right here. So as for the closure, it is one of the regular closures. It's just a flat closure. You know, I already prefer like the reinforced sides, but for this hair, what? I am going to work with this closure if it kills me, okay? Yes. But as far as the knots in the closure, they're very thin, so you don't see them. The hair is not dried out. It looks really healthy. It's soft, and it's just like a really pretty texture and color. So I am like so excited about this. The only thing is that I'm going to have to do prior to actually making the wig is I'm going to darken the roots of the actual closure because you girls know I like my roots to be dark. But this time around, since I have to darken them, they're not going to be too much root. They're going to be very minimal because that's just the way I like it. And I'm also going to go ahead and darken, like, the bearding of the actual wefting here. So that way, it all kind of coincides when it's brushed back. You'll see that it's all matching and it looks like it's all grown out. So I went ahead and I picked up some color silk hair dyes, which is box dye. And this is in the color dark brown so it can match my own hair. But yes... I am like so excited about doing this hair color like oh my god I just can't imagine having this kind or this kind of texture hair in this particular color it would look so pretty so different so yes I am like super excited y'all like really really excited about this so like I said they have different type of textures and so many different colors to choose from. You don't have to do anything. I mean, if you want your roots dark, you can do that yourself. I'm pretty sure if you ask them, they may do custom color. I really can't remember, but I will post all the information for you girls below. So, yes, I'm going to show you girls how I did this hair and how I'm going to dye it. And so let's get on to the video. All right, ladies. So these are the tools that you will need. You'll need a rat tail comb, some duck clips. You'll need a small mascara wand, a bowl, and your hair dye. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and mix this hair dye in. This is Color Silk in the color dark brown, just to match my own natural roots. And you're going to pour the mixture into the bottle and just make sure you shake it very well. 
Once I'm done shaking it, I'm going to go ahead and pull that into my mixture bowl so that way it's easy access for me to dip my mascara wand into. I'm just going to stir it up a little bit just to make sure that it's mixed properly. Now that I have my closure onto my mannequin head, or this is a mannequin blockhead, I did place a plastic bag so that way none of the dye gets on the mannequin blockhead. I'm going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to part the hair or the closure in small portions. You don't want a lot of hair, you want to part it just really small portions. I would say probably like an inch each. And you want to go ahead and clip the sides down and use your duck clips just to hold the excess hair so that way it doesn't get in the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure I dap off any excess hair dye from my mascara wand so it doesn't drip onto the hair. And I'm going to slowly brush that in, staying away from the actual lace of the closure. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush that on slowly and gently and just actually seep it into the, into the hair. You want to go ahead and flip the hair over and just get the other portion or the other side and just go ahead and just keep brushing that on. As you can see, I'm taking small strokes and I'm just going back and forth. And of course you don't see the color right now because it does have to activate itself and it will turn into a dark brown eventually. And being that I don't like my roots too lengthy, I like very minimal roots because I like it to look as if it just grew out. I'm not going to do a lot of darkness, but I'm making sure that I'm staying away from the actual lace. Now I'm going to be using a cotton, I'm not really sure what these are called, but I will place them below and you will need this. This just also helps the hair separate and it also allows the hair not to lay onto one another so that way the hair dye doesn't seep onto the new portion of hair that you're going to be dyeing over. And you're going to do the same steps as shown. And you don't have to use like a brand new mascara wand. You can use one that you've had already like I've done. But you want to make sure that the actual stem of the mascara wand is sturdy and stiff and not too flimsy because that'll make it a lot easier for you to brush on the actual hair dye. Now when you do choose your mascara wand, I would choose a nice kind of like medium bristle brush. And you want to make sure if you are using it from an actual mascara that you do wash off any excess mascara that is on the brush prior to using it for dyeing. This method is really easy and I wouldn't say it's time consuming. The whole entire process of doing this closure probably took me about 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and lay that cotton across it again. And once again, I'm going to go ahead with my rat tail comb and I'm going to part it. Like I stated, you do need to make sure that these parts are thin because the actual dye will seep through the hair a lot easier opposed to the hair being too thick. If the parts are too thick, then you will miss strands of actual hair that you do need to dye. So I highly suggest making sure that your parts are super thin and just take your time and go slow because that way you know that the actual dye will not seep onto your lace closure. And as you see, the hair is turning dark and it may appear like a black color on camera, but it's actually a dark brown. Now that it's all finished, the next step I'm going to be doing is I'm going to allow this to sit onto the hair for about 20 minutes before I wash it out. And as you see, there is no dye on any of the actual lace closure. This is like the easiest method to make darker roots in your closure. Now onto the bundles of hair. I've kept them folded in half and I'm just going to go ahead and use the same dye along with a dye brush to paint on the actual dye. I'm not going to put a lot of dye onto it, meaning I'm not going to bring it down too far because I want it to look as if it just grew out. The dye will seep through the second portion of the bundle, so there's no worries about that. As long as you put on enough dye, then it will seep through. And this is the other side that I'm going to go ahead and dye next. You just want to take your time and paint that on, depending on your preference of where you want that hair dye to fall or land or end. 
you just want to continue to paint it through make sure you have enough hair dye onto your brush and just continuously brush down from the actual weft tracks onto the hair and super easy and let's take a look at how it looks right now Okay, so the hair is all dry now. The actual closure came out fantastic. There's only like one little spot here in the back where the dye seeped through. Other than that, the whole closure looks perfectly clean. And the roots came out so well. Like here are the roots. So you can see that and it's throughout the whole entire closure. So that way I could part it wherever I want. And this is the actual color, a color number 10, which I am super excited to try out because this is kinky straight. So girl, please, I'm about to rock the heck out of that wig. Now, as for the bundles, this is them right here. It doesn't have to be perfect when dyeing this portion because you don't want it a perfect line. You just want it to be able to, when your hair is flipped back, you can see like the darkness of it so it blends in with my own hair. I didn't want this portion to be all one solid color and then the closure not because you will see the darkness right here. So it's supposed to look like it's grown from my roots. So this is all of the actual bundles all done. And ready to be made so yes girls let's get into the creation or the finished product all right ladies so I am so happy and so excited to be doing the final portion of this video um, the wig is dry created parted concealed closure lace cut and I am ready to go as you girls know always some combs in my units because I don't want it slipping back but this hair reacted so well so it's still soft the color is still the same no color change no brassy tones rippled natural kinky straight looking unit and I am like ready to put her on so let's do this Okay, ladies, yes, hunties, yes, hair goes for real. This color is like amazing. Like, I am so in love with this color right now. Like, I'm feeling this for sure. I'm really feeling like this sandy blonde, sandy brown color. Whatever, I'm feeling this color number 10 to the max. It's amazing. So, be ready to see me rocking the hell out of this hair because. First of all, you already know I love kinky hair. Love kinky hair texture. I just think it's so natural looking. So I am loving this. Plus the fact that I'm not going to toot, toot, toot my own horn, but 
I did a darn good job with the roots. Now you girls know I'm always complaining like if I get a closure and it's like gray, blonde, whatever color and the roots are really, they're dark. I'm always complaining like oh I hate my roots so wide. I hate the roots to be so long. I like a little bit of darkness at the roots. And this right here, this little bit is exactly how I like it. I don't like a lot. And plus I don't like it all even either like someone took a ruler or some kind of tool and sit it on top of my head so I like the way this came out plus the roots are all dark here throughout the entire unit on the actual bundle so it came out well and that's what gives it a more realistic look opposed to it being just one solid color there are a bunch of different color options for their kinky straight hair so as for the back it's very full I used the entire three bundles of hair and this is how it looks in the back. I did not trim it. I did not layer it. I didn't do anything but just split the track. So I did end up splitting the track um, for the hair because, you know, girls, I saw my track so close. So I started running out. So I went ahead and basically split the track to finish the wig. And it really didn't take anything away from it. You cannot see any difference in it. It kind of helps a little bit more too, when, especially when it's up in this area because you want it to lay as flat as possible. But this hair is like beautiful. Nice. But yes, this is like some really pretty hair. I'm like really, really satisfied with this kinky straight. And I do have my other favorite kinky straight unit, which is more or less the dark color. But for this one, I really like it a lot. And I'm, tr I'm thinking, would it be braidable like corn um, cornrows? Because, you know, I like to do that as well. And I just want to see would that work because the roots are not, you know, my hair is dark on the sides. But, oh yeah, this will work perfectly to have it cornrowed. Oh yeah. I am like feeling this. Oh girl, yes. There were no issues with the knots. All I did was just part it wherever. So the closure has darkness in it throughout the entire closure which I showed you on video so I can go ahead and part it wherever I want because I've already darkened the entire closure roots of it but this is like some really grade A hair really really I'm really satisfied with this hair so yes yes new color color number 10 so yes make sure you visit Nubian Bar's beauty supply website they have loads of different hair textures and colors and options to choose from but make sure you check them out their Instagram as well as their website I will post all their information for you girls below and get ready because I'm about to wear the heck out of this unit so on that note let me know what you think stay diva and divalicious um, make sure to rate comment subscribe and I'll see you girls on my next video